I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is not the time for this. This is definitely not. I'm gonna tell you one time, bro. One time, delete that post off your page, bro. Cause you want attention right now. And it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work out how you think it's gonna work out, bro. Take to put in work just to get this paint And all this talk about food, I guess I need a plate But once the trap house boom, I guess I flip the state To get this rape, money violent like a misery rape Half a brick a day, my fire work like Independence Day Spark a split for hate, niggas learn from that chink shit Now my shooters move around, we moving brinks with I'm from the school of the hard knocks, from a hard block I need a beat with a hard knock, flipping hard rock Need a coupe with a hard top or a hard drop Pull it out, they be all shot, watch the jaw drop My nigga crazy, but we optimistic Cause I remember days I didn't have about the pissing Somebody tell these pussy niggas I'm the best that did it Your boy dag fire plane, that's the best description Motherfuckers, yo I just want the paper, I just Yo, salute, salute, salute. Y'all know the vibes, man. This is Talking Tough with Steno. I am your host. The toughest of all things tough. That is tough. Steno, man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that like button. Vibe with me. We almost out of this shadow band. I want to thank y'all for uh sticking with me, man, through this through these through these treacherous times, man. But yo, listen, it seems like history is repeating itself. And by that I mean 50 Cent son Marquise Jackson Jr. and Supreme. McGriff Jr. Uh, uh, looks like it's getting a little heated, man. So as y'all saw at the beginning of this video, I played a little snippet. I'm going to get back to that, and I'm going to show y'all exactly what uh, Prem Jr. is talking about. Make sure y'all leave a comment. Make sure y'all leave a like, man. Make sure y'all share this if y'all feel like this topic is interesting. Let's go. I'm not going to lie, bro. This is not the time for this. This is definitely not. I'm going to tell you one time, bro. One time. Delete that post off your page, bro. Cause you want attention right now and it's not gonna work it's not gonna work out how you think it's gonna work out bro you want attention right now bro when y'all started posting text messages and screenshots and dms of what people were saying bro i'm gonna tell you one time bro marquise you don't want this problem bro delete that post off your page you you leaking my number you leak my number bro you got people calling my phone and calling me and texting me Yo, you really on some fed, yo. You on some police shit, bro. And and these people on the internet, it's not cool for somebody to post messages and, and, and DMs and stuff like that and, and screenshot them and record phone conversations. Bro, you on some police shit, bro. And I'm going to tell you one time, and this is my last time addressing you and talking to you, bro. Take that post down, bro. Damn. So there you have it, man. Listen, and I'm going to show y'all what post he's talking about right now. I'm going to show y'all a little bit of other stuff. But um, so Marquise, man, Marquise went on um, a tirade basically because a lot of people were saying that. And this is Marquise's Instagram. Um, that's 50 son. Marquise, uh, a lot of people were saying that, you know, Marquise was being disloyal because he took a picture with Prem's son. Um, which 50 said out of, out of his own mouth. So the way I take it is that Marquise was just trying to, uh, let niggas know that he, he wasn't being disrespectful. He wasn't being disloyal. So on his first layer right here on this post that he still has up, cause he didn't take it up. I mean, I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't take it down either. It says, now y'all see, I tried to reach out to talk to my pops as a man in front of the world and behind the scenes. I have no phone number for you, and you've had me blocked on social media for years, so I can't DM you personally. And everybody that is mutual is scared to touch the topic because they're scared of you. This seems to be the only way to reach you. I'm not a kid anymore. No mommy involved. I don't want or need money from you. I stand on my own too. I don't like the attention. I had so many opportunities to get that and I chose not to, which we'll get to in a second. I saw the Breakfast Club interview and didn't and it didn't sound like much accountability there, just ego, blaming, and more so about money as if you were the child in the situation. Those text messages was me. And he's talking about the text messages that 50 said that he 
thought was Marquise's mom when he was outside the house and trying to see Marquise. He's saying that that was actually him. Uh, I was waiting outside for you. That was the day you broke my heart. I forgave you for it. I'm ready when you're ready to sit down and talk. Then he goes on to say, I don't know. Uh, I don't know that kid. His friend asked for a pick. He fanned out and held it for years. He's talking about Prem Jr. now. He said, I don't know that kid. His friend asked for pictures and he fanned out. Look at the tags in the picture, everybody but me. If that was what I was trying to do to you, I would have posted it myself. The Bozo said it himself. We didn't and don't know each other. So he's 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 sort of using some strong language towards uh Prem Jr. Man, he's calling him a goofy and all that. Just a goofy clout chasing, trying to sell shirts of his alleged dad who he don't even got a jail visit pictures with. And hitting up people that know me trying to set up an event for some bread. But y'all think it's about the attention and money for me, right? If I knew who he was, I wouldn't have done that at all. I found... Uh, damn, that nigga wrote a whole, a whole book, man. Uh, what he said? Yeah, no, we are trying to sell for some bread, but y'all think uh, uh, I would have done it. I found out the same way the rest of y'all did. Y'all can stop the BS now. I apologize to anybody that this photo may have hurt, but I wasn't aware who he claims to be. I thought it was just a fan asking for a picture. Any other enemies you've seen me in the picture with, I've known them to be family damn near my entire life because of my pops. You only know the kid, Marquise. Come meet the man. Hashtag now you know the truth. Hashtag let's break the cycle. So it seems like he's trying to, you know what I'm saying, ex extend the olive branch. Um, and he's also trying to trying to clear up. So right here, he goes into showing um that 50 Cent has him blocked on his social media. So he can't actually write 50 Cent. He got him blocked. He can't even find find his father page. That's the picture that everybody was 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 talking about with Prem Junior, uh, and and Marquise right here. He didn't tell me to after we left out of the club who that was. Like when uh, when we first took the Prem picture, like, you take the picture. On, uh, I'm like, flip. and why you think whatever. he would say that? Bro, I'm not the even. Gaffle. I'm not worried. The I'm not, gaffle. I'm not worried about that. I'm just taking the picture. Right, and then right. he told me right. once we got outside, who it was, mm -hmm. and it was just funny. Like, you no, know, I didn't even know who it was. He didn't tell me to after we left out of the club who that was. Like when uh... when we first took the picture, like yo, take the picture, take the picture. I'm like, and why you think whatever. he would say that? Bro, I'm not the even. Gaffle. I'm not worried. The I'm gaffle. Not, I'm not worried about that. I'm just money, taking man. the picture. Right, and right, then right, he right. told me right. once we got outside, who it was, and it was just funny. Like. No, I didn't even know who it was. He didn't tell me to after. Yeah, man. So they didn't know each other. And I'm saying and the whole thing was um, everybody was saying that, you know, what I mean, they they supposedly um, like it was some type of disrespect, which I could see that. But the whole fact of the matter is that they did not know each other. Um, Marquis said that he 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 thought someone was a fan. But later on, a um, couple of years later. This is a text message from uh, Supreme Junior to Marquise. And this is what Supreme Junior is mad about. So it says, yo, King, let's hop on the call. Niggas got a big ass bag for us. We need to take that shit. 50K each. Hit me back. He sends his number. Hit me ASAP, King. Uh, Marquise didn't text back, man. Marquise didn't acknowledge it. Um, the part where... Supreme Juniors talk about you leaked my my info. I mean, if you zoom in <laughs> far enough, that that black spot over his number is like see through. So you could definitely make out the numbers if you if you're being a detective. Um, but yeah, so that's what Supreme is mad about, man. He's he's to me, I feel like he's mad. Um, yeah, that that his number got out. Um he's also mad probably that you know uh marquise is like putting him out there you know i mean like you wanted to do business with me but i didn't want to do business with you but to marquise's um to marquise's standpoint he's trying to prove that he wasn't being disloyal to his pops i mean uh, he didn't know the nigga and it seems he he may feel a little disrespected now like oh shit like just putting two and two together 
This is uh, from Supreme Junior's page, man. He says, yo, you want to come out, you know, curse words, man. Guidelines. You want to come out about this ish four years later, like a bit of baby, like a bit of baby mother you is the ultimate clout chaser. All I want to do is fight. I don't care about no money right now. Let's fight for free. This nigga ain't no victim. He is the effing problem. He is a manipulative person, just like his moms. But look where that got them thus far. She told him he has to play victim to get the people on their side. Don't believe the hype. This nigga, reality TV. What he said? This ain't reality TV. His mother is a puppet master. Okay, copy. Yeah, man. Then right here shows that he was getting wild calls, champ. And somebody told him that, uh, you know, Marquise leaked out his number. But he was getting wild spam calls minute after minute after minute after minute. So that's why he really mad, man. I mean, you know, uh, but it's just crazy. To see. I mean, I grew up in the in the 50 era, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was in high school when 50 came out. So to see this shit now, it's like, damn, bro, like 50 Jr. and Prem Jr. It's crazy, dog. Prem Jr. said he wants the fade. He said he don't care about nothing. He wants to fade. I don't think Marquise is going to fade him. Um, who knows? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think it's going to be a fade involved? Will somebody be getting a boosie bad fade of hands, champ? <laughs> Will somebody be getting that good old boosie bad fade of hands? Y'all let me know the next Dragon Ball Z, man. Make sure y'all go over to wearetough.com, man. That is wearetough.com for all the merch and accessories. Got to go get you a hoodie, a shirt. Got to go get you something, man. You know what I mean? I'll be back on tomorrow with some more content. I appreciate everybody for popping out. I appreciate for everybody for sticking with me through this whole shadow ban and all that stuff like that, man. It'll be more upgrades done to the page soon. Please make sure y'all use that super chat, man. Make sure y'all um, are in attendance, bro. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'll be back on, like I said, tomorrow. I'm going to leave y'all with some commercials from the sponsor. Stay off that clouded team, man. My soul. Warning, clouded teen causes extreme cases of dumbness, reckless acts of mookism, and total loss of morality. Are you chasing clout? <laughs> so is everyone. But why don't you look the part while doing it? Get your official clout merch right now at wearetough.com. That is wearetough.com. If you're chasing clout and you're out here on some mookism shit, Go ahead and go over to wearetough.com and get your merch today, today, today. Cause I got a lot, oh yeah And anywhere you go My whole crew gonna know, oh baby Hey baby, you can't hide from the night Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it real Trying to keep it real Tell me what you want, I'ma tell you how I feel I ain't trying to get no deal I keep it real Tell me what you want, I'ma tell you how I feel I ain't trying to get no deal